Okay, here we have a typical PowerPoint slide with some text on it inside a text container. And if we bring our cursor in and click somewhere inside that text, we see these dashed lines appear around the text container. And if we now want to do something to the entire body of text inside that container, we might select it all by dragging the cursor over it. Uh, or we might just attempt to make the change. Let's say we want to turn the text red by clicking our uh, Change Text Color tool. Uh, but you'll see it only affects one word. Let's get rid of what we just did by pressing Control Z. And here's a little tip. If you uh, click inside a text container and then press the Escape key, you see how that border became a solid border? and my cursor disappeared, that means the entire container has been selected. Even though you don't see a highlight mark or anything, when you see that solid border, it means the next action you take will affect everything inside that container. So now if we want red text, I click our uh, Change Color tool, and it all becomes red. So that's using the Escape key to select a text container.